This video shows how to install Golang kernel for Jupyter Notebook. So first we have to install Golang greater than or equal to 1.5. So for that we need to go to golang.org slash dl. Then if you are using Linux OS, download this tar.gz file golang 1.9. Click on this link. Then download this tar.gz file. I already downloaded this file. So this is the file which I downloaded. So next we need to extract this file. For that we can use this command tar-xzf go 1.9. So after the extraction you can see a folder named go so inside that folder you can see the files of go compiler okay so next we need to export go root path so let me open bash rc file in bash rc file we need to add these two lines we need to export go root environment variable and and path environment variable the go root environment variable should point to the folder of go compiler so which the uh, folder which we extracted from the downloaded tar.gz file then we need to add the bin directory in the go folder to the path environment variable okay so first we need to point go root environment variable to to this folder then we need to add this bin directory to the path environment variable so after that we need to create after that we have to check the version just run this command go version so so we can see it has printed go 1.9 so that means the installation has completed successfully so next we need to create a go uh, project directory so let, let me create a sample project directory my go project 1 I have to create a bin directory inside that project directory okay so after that we need to open bash rc file again then we need to add these two lines we need to export go path environment variable that go path variable should point to the project directory which we created and the and we need to add the bin directory which we created inside this project folder to the path environment variable okay so that that has completed the installation of go so next let me move to the installation of Jupyter so before installing Jupyter we need to install pip installer for that we need to run this command sudo apt-get install python pip so this command will install python pip after the installation of pip we need to check the version of pip so it should show so we need to use the pip greater than or equal to 9 so if it's showing pip version less than 9 so you have to upgrade the pip for, for that we can use this command sudo pip install minus minus upgrade pip so basically this command will upgrade the pip so after the installation of pip we can install jupyter notebook using pip installer just run this command so this command will install jupyter notebook okay so installation of jupyter notebook has completed let me verify the 
installation so we can run we can open jupyter notebook using this command jupyter space notebook so now you would get a ui like this so there in the right side you can see a new option click on that there you can see python so our goal is to bring go here so after the installation of go kernel you can see the go option here so that is what i am going to show the next in the next step so now we have completed these two steps next i am going to install zero mq so to install zero mq we need to run this command sudo apt get install lib zmq3-dev so let me stop the jupyter notebook then install lib zmq3-dev okay it's done so i have installed zmq 4.1 okay so this is very important that the version of zmq so after the installation of zmq we can import we can install go imports for that we can run this command so after the installation of go imports we need to install go for nodes so we already seen we have installed zmq4 okay so we need to run this command this is very important if you are using 0 mq4 we have to run this command to install go for nodes okay installation of go imports has completed now let me install go for nodes so this is go for nodes this is the golang kernel for jupyter notebook okay installation of gopher node has completed after the installation of these two packages we have to check in the project directory we have to we have created my go project one and go to bin directory just ls there there you should see these two binaries so make sure make sure that these two binaries are exist in your project folder after the execution of these two statements okay then move to the next step in the next step we need to create this directory structure just create this directory so right now this directory is md can see if you do ls it is md so next we need to copy some files from the gopher nodes which we installed we need to copy some files from this location to the this location so this is basically a config kernel config file so we need to copy that file so if you do ls here you can see one kernel.json file so basically we need to copy this kernel.json to this location so let me run this command okay now do ls there you can see we have copied kernel.json So if you open that kernel.json, you can see this JSON, JSON string. Okay. Now the installation of uh, Go kernel for Jupyter Notebook has completed. Now I am going to verify the installation. For that, let me run Jupyter Notebook.
then select new see now we can see this go option here just select on go then let me run one sample program I'm going to run this hello world program let me copy this and put it here then click on this run see it has printed the hello world so this way we can install go kernel for Jupyter notebook so please subscribe my channel if you like this video